Okay, um, so now that I have this uh, filter, uh, let me actually let me actually redraw it the, the way that it actually is now. Uh, it comes in and it actually looks like this. And these are tied together. So this is my new, this is my new construct. And this is 270. This is 270. And this is 680. All right. And our phasing is such that it's phased like this. I believe that's the right way to draw that. They're opposite. So they, they, they don't. They don't couple, they cancel each other out. And we saw a particular performance and I thought, okay, um, let me, and then I, I said to myself, let me go model it in Spice, but there, there's no way to model this in Spice. I, I, I don't know how to do that. So if somebody has a clue on how to model something like this in Spice, I, I, I don't know how to do it. Um, I don't know how to get these coupled inductances and stuff in a spice model. Maybe there's a fancy plugin or something. I don't, I don't know, but, uh, uh, yeah. Is there any way, is there any way to do that? Uh, I would be curious. Uh, maybe I'll ask my, uh, ask my friend who's a wizard at, uh, at spice. Maybe he has a, maybe he has an idea. Anyway, uh, so we've swept this out and we saw a, uh, we saw a performance, we saw a, a flat band pass and then it came down and it uh, had a negative uh, uh, notch due to kind of this architecture, kind of looks like a notch filter, right? Uh, had this notch and then it kind of plateaued out and it plateaued out at about 20 dB, min minus 20, 20 dB. So not, not a bad filter, but we'd like to make it even better. And so I thought, well, you know, I can't model it, but I can experiment with it. So I can start changing maybe some of the capacitor values and seeing if that, if that changes. So um, uh, I found something interesting. So let's go take a look. Oh, let me explain what I'm going to do since I'm uh, going to show it on the analyzer over there. Um, I, I, I changed a bunch of things. I changed this capacitor and it just kind of changed the bandpass uh, cutoff. And um, I changed both of these capacitors and it got worse. And then I added a capacitor only to one side, only to this side, and it got better. <laughs> so it's asymmetric, which I don't understand. I thought filters were always, I don't know. <laughs> so let me show you what I, what, I, what, I, uh, what, I, what I put in here and how it works. Okay, so this is the filter as built. And like I said, there's that dip and we're at minus 20 dB, dB uh, down over here. And now I'm going to add a capacitor. Uh, so let me let me do that. I've just added a capacitor, and look at that! Look at that! It's way, way, way better now. So our our 14 megahertz point is now down at minus 37 and a half dB. Um, so it's twice as good as it was before. Um, so I'm sure it can be even better if I knew how to model this thing. If I knew how to design this thing, it could be even better than before. Um, yeah, so, uh, I added 680 picofarad to the output. So the two, the 270 is still in there as well. Um, so yeah, it's quite a bit on the output. Uh, there's almost 800 picofarads on the output. Um, six, seven, oh, there's more than 900 picofarads on the output. So yeah, and it does that now. So yeah, go figure. Um, I kind of like this. So I'm thinking that, you know, given the right choices and everything, we can probably get this down again. So it's nice and flat again. And, um, or maybe even starts to roll off. I'm not even sure how to do that. And then maybe there's a little bit of a dip here. There's even a little bit of dip here when the, uh, 
uh, even with just the 200 and set, uh, 270 picofarad. Let me put that back on. You can see there's there's a little bit of a dip there, but I mean, that's not that's not a lot. Uh, that's about. Oops. I'm not turning the right thing. Oh man. I'm trying to do this and not get in the way of the camera. So yeah, it's about two dB. You know, I think I'm still calibrated. Let me. Uh, let me move my thing over see if I'm still calibrated. No, I'm not calibrated. Uh, let me see here. Let me move this out. Uh, let's see here. Okay, I'm going to do a through measurement. And we, get a, we should get a straight flat line. Yeah, and it is down a little bit, so it's moved on me a little bit. So let's, uh, let's re-zero it. Um, let's see. Marker. Uh, let me see. There we go. Now we're flat at the top. Now, now it's, now it's calibrated. Good. So let's go back and measure the, measure the filter. Yeah. So we're now right now to, up at the top. And then let's add the second capacitor. Uh, add the second capacitor. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. So it's fine. Uh, it, it 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 dips just a tiny little bit. Again, I don't want to get away the camera. This is really, really awkward. All right. Main marker. There we go. So we're down, yeah, DB, a DB and a half. So not much. Um, and our notch, our notch is down here around minus 50. And then we're over here around minus 38. Yeah, this is great. We, we, we're still around minus 25 over here. So yeah, it's doing, it's doing a really, really nice job. This is a nice filter. <laughs> Um, so again, I don't know how to model this in spice and I'm kind of fiddling in the dark, uh, with capacitors and stuff. Uh, but, uh, let me, uh, let me try out maybe a couple different values. Let me change the input a little bit. Like I said, I put it, I made it symmetric on the input and it didn't do much. Let me, I'm grabbing another 270 picofarad. Let's, let's, let's add another 270 picofarad on the input. Let's see what happens there. You yeah, see, it gets worse. It gets worse. It doesn't get better, it gets worse. That's really weird. Okay, well, let's add even more to the output then. See what happens over there. Yeah, it drops a little bit here. Let's see here. Ah, uh, there. Yeah, didn't really change much. It drops maybe a little bit. So it likes capacitance on the output. Yeah, very strange. Um, I don't know. <laughs> like I said, I don't know how to model this thing and I have never seen anything in the literature. So uh, yeah, anybody can help me out.